Hey guys, welcome to Sam Cole Workshop. Today we're going to talk about this right here. This is the only hitch you ever have to buy in your entire life. And it's very, very affordable. And it also serves other functions as well too. Um, unlike a lot of other drop hitches out there. Now, you can buy a regular hitch like I'm showing you up here. Okay, I, We've all done those, those little uh, Reese or uh, Kurt or any of these other kind of hitch balls. And they're great. But then when you buy another vehicle or you take your, your other vehicle, so you use it on your truck, but then you want to tow with your wife. Uh, SUV you got different heights that you need okay you got to have your trailer level here's your truck and then you got a certain amount of drop to the hitch but you need your trailer level you can't have them going down the road like this or it's going to sway like crazy this is okay but then you're dragging it up every gas station and grinding and having a problem you want your trailer to be level okay your trailer has to be level loaded you know the correct way anywhere between 15 20 percent uh tongue weight on, or 10 to 15 percent tongue weight you you got to set up your trailer the right way Okay, a drop hitch allows you to do that. Like I just bought my Gladiator, and uh, with the Gladiator, it's, you know, on my Tacoma, the advantage I have is both of my two trailers, my boat and my, uh, my uh, Rhino uh, 6x10 enclosed cargo trailer, they both have the same height of the trailer. So I can actually, I was fine with a two inch hitch on my uh, Tacoma. It worked out well. I already knew that because I had a drop hitch available that I was using on my uh, on my F-150s and on my Ram. I had the same exact hitch, this one, on a Ram 2500, but with the double ball and I had it in the 10,000 pound version for that Cummins. Um, but what you get with this is a affordable price but yet you get one hitch that does everything plus it's off-road capable as well too for a lot of people. We'll talk about that in a minute. But so for those of you that don't know what a drop hitch is, so basically here's where you're going to hook into your trailer. You're going to slide this in there. Here's your hitch pin. You're probably going to be sitting about from here. My hand forward is what's sticking out of the truck. Okay, out of the hitch. All right, so it's not like all this is sticking out. This is going to go into your receiver about that far. This is all that hangs out. Now, you got double pins on both sides. This has an anti-rattle in there, okay? So it's actually got a stopper in there. You can hear it. It's pretty good. Now, there's a little play, but it's pretty solid. It's all steel construction, okay? And it's basically two pieces, okay? And it's just really well done. It's made by a great company of Kurt. You can see on there, too, how much drop we have. I think it's six and a half a drop and five and a half a rise or something. Uh, six and three quarter inch a drop and five and a quarter a rise and uh, but you can see that this thing Okay, but what you, what's nice about it is the simplicity and the speed um, You do have to buy the ball separate. Okay, it's ten bucks I did put it on there, but I will show you it is super easy But that also allows you to change it out pretty easy. So but we're gonna pull these pins out of here Okay, so you got these two pins to hold these you got a pin that comes through this side and you got a pin that comes through this side. Sorry, my little table here. There we go. So here's your pieces. And you have a rubber stopper in here too, okay? This rubber grommet piece that can go high or low in this. Can pop right out and slide into either hole you want to keep it quiet. So it's a really nice feature uh, to keep that silenced in there. Wherever you got to put it at. Okay, right now I'm just leaving it in this one here for right now. But... And these are replaceable if you were to have a problem with it or lose it. You stick that back in through there. There we go. And uh, But so this is your actual receiver part right here. This is your hitch part. Okay, with that you need a, uh, I got one right here. Hang right on one sec, I will show you. Uh, right here. Okay, I'll put a link to these two. You can get these on Amazon. This is a hitch ball wrench. Okay, they are dirt cheap. They're like $8, okay, and it covers any size hitch ball that you have, okay? Put it right on there, and now you can tighten it out and stick it right in your vise by the two ears on that. Simple and easy to change out if you want to go from a two to a two and a half, but like I said, a hitch wrench, very, very cheap and affordable. I will link one below. <coughs> Everybody should have one. It has trailer stuff. So, but... What's beautiful about this is you have your drop positions. You have all of these pieces that you can slide, okay, to anywhere. You can go down that far for your six and a three quarter drop, or you can come up, or you can come up, or you can come up, or you can spin this around, depending on the other vehicle you have, and go way up here if you got a hitch that's underneath, like an aftermarket hitch, like by U Haul or something, and put it on here. So you have total control, and it is simply putting it on here like this. And taking your pin and sticking your pin in, 
and then sticking your other pin in and dropping your cotter kit pins in. That's how easy this thing is to adjust. So uh, say you have your boat and it needs this position, it's that easy to do. And then, uh, well, this is on the truck. You can change this on the truck. And then if that boat or you go to take your other trailer to go do some yard work, you can take this and put it here, okay? And stick it into this one and right there and now you have that much drop okay you see how easy this is to change for whatever you need it to be now when you're on the if you were putting on an SUV you spin it around flip this so it gets rise okay rather than drop with this this way it becomes a rise hitch okay so now when you put this on here you can actually go above and have it as rise Okay, so it's a nice feature. Now, the other thing about this too, which makes it nice, when you're off-roading, having a hitch sticking out like this and having it hang way down like a lot of drop hitches do, how they're way down low and that ball slides down, um, that's, that's a whole lot below where my fingers are that's going to drag and dig into the ground and hang up and lift your back end off the ground and not work. With this one, because of the fact that you could put it that way, you still got all that drop below you, right? Kind of a problem. <coughs> This one you can spin it over and then you can run this hitch up here like this for when you're normal driving or for off-road. Remember my hitch is coming or that's sticking out that far. Barely anything is hanging down low but what else is nice is the design of this. I love this little ramp that you see right here. This welded ramp right into these but I mean this is designed perfectly uh, as a guard and a protection for the back end of your th your rig uh, to be able to come out of there and basically it's coming straight out of your hitch which is mounted right here where my fingers are okay that's how much is sticking out you can see that as a guard and yet you can still have your hitch on there and it'd be non-affecting so it's a beautiful system uh, beautiful hitch for anything you want to do and it's dirt cheap in price I want to say it was 80 bucks for the for the whole thing plus 10 bucks for the ball so it's a 90 dollar hitch where even your your um, cheap ones uh, to try and get like a four inch drop or something um, then you're paying a lot more money and with a four inch drop like let's say we're at four look at how much of that has to hang down because uh, if you're six that's probably right here is probably four inch drop hitch Look at how far down that has to hang, and it's there all the time. This one gives you much more versatility. <coughs> Cost-wise, it's like owning five different hitches, and then you can use it for any vehicle you want to. Now, I don't leave a hitch on my Gladiator all the time because, again, I am crossing creeks um, when I'm in the woods, and I don't want I don't want to be dragging and beating stuff up. So I put this hitch on when I need to take my trailers, um, but it is simple to leave this thing set up how you want, Put it wherever you want it to be. There's a spot there. And one right here. And then you have that hitch set. There you go. And you just drop in your cotter pins. Quick and simple like that. And now you have that hitch ready to go. And then you just stick it on the vehicle. And uh, plug it in. And it is one whole unit set and ready. It is quality. It is well built. It is made by a reputable company. And it is set. And you can use this. For every vehicle you buy for the rest of your life. It is a buy once, never need it again for the next five, eight vehicles you have or that your wife has or for the trailers you get. You may have a trailer for a car, a landscape trailer that works great, but then you go and buy a snowmobile trailer and now you need a whole new hitch because that snowmobile trailer, uh, it needs more rise and that thing is, you know, now it's, it's hanging down like this, okay? Well, now you can solve that with this one and carry other ones. You buy a new boat, you get a new quad trailer, you get a kayak trailer, you get whatever you need trailer-wise, you have one hitch that does everything. Problem solved. And there are a lot of great hitches out there. I personally will never run an aluminum hitch. No offense to them. I know there's some really good ones, but the price is stupid. It like they're like 200 bucks for 200 plus for a reputable company quality one. It comes to a hitch, I want steel. I want welded and robust, and I want strong and durable. This gives it to you, and it gives it to you for an incredible price. So something to think about right there. Sweet, simple, and easy, and very affordable hitch. Thanks for watching.